Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you Nichols Worth and today we're going to talk about features to look for in a premium Bible. Now there are several levels of premium Bibles that you can get all the way from mass produced all the way up to custom and one of the good landing spots is a place like Skyler and Allen or even a Cambridge which gives you all high-end materials at not so quite a mass produced uh, rate but they still give you some really good quality. So let's take a look at some of the features to look for. One of them is your goat skin or your calf skin or your premium leather cover. You want them to use good material and Skylar is a prime example of that. And you can see that it's got that really smooth grain. Some people like the more pebbly grain, kind of like this one, which we'll get to in just a second. Also, another thing that you want to look for is ribbons. You don't want dinky little ugly ribbons. Now these are actually Beresford ribbons. They're very nice, probably the highest quality that you can find in your ribbon game. And then another feature is to look for is your perimeter sewing. Now this isn't necessarily a feature you have to have in premium Bibles, but if they're gonna do it, it needs to look really good. Spine is also another critical feature, in my opinion, on a premium Bible. And this one has the raised hubs, really nice. The next feature you look for in a premium Bible is you look for the liner. You don't want a paste down liner unless it's done well. Now, this is just my opinion and it's going to be subjective, but I prefer a sewn in liner and it needs to be animal skin. This is a cowhide liner. You'll notice they did a perimeter gold here. Also, another good thing about premiums to look for is the corners. Make sure the corner work looks at least decent. Now, some of your more high, uh, lower end mass produced Bibles, you're not going to see those premium corners, but on a Skyler, an Allen, or a Rebind, that's definitely something you want to pay attention to. The next thing is your edge lining. This, what this is, is this is a piece of this inside flap or this inside liner kind of gone over and it's glued to what's called an end sheet. Okay, and then the end sheet and then like your uh, fly leaf of your Bible are going to be glued together. So that is a feature, not a flaw. And what it does is it holds this block together into this cover. So this is a feature you definitely want to look for in a premium Bible. You want them to be edge lined. Now, one thing about edge lining that it does tend to cause that people don't like is it does create what's called an edge line hump, which on this Skylar, it's not so bad. But anyhow, you'll notice that it kind of can be a little humpy there toward the beginning. Another feature to look for in premium Bibles is your art gilding. Now look, a lot of people, this kind of annoys me, a lot of people call regular gilding art gilding. Okay, this is regular gilding. Okay, when you open it, there is no accent color. Okay, that is, so this is not art gilding, that's just gilding. This is art gilding. Art gilding is when you have your gold or your silver or whatever color. And then when you open it, you're rewarded with this ink dye on the edges of the pages that rewards you once the page is open. Another key feature of a premium Bible is going to be your text block. Now, Roy Youngblood and uh, your French Indopaque paper is probably gonna be the standard, but there's also a few other options. This is another Youngblood text um, from Cambridge. This is the Topaz. This 28 GSM paper is absolutely beautiful. It's line matched and you'll notice that the ghosting is very minimal. Another key feature in my opinion in a premium Bible is going to be the line matching. I think line matching is critically important because when you have that thinner 28 GSM paper to keep your text block thin like this one is rather than big old thick with 36 or a uh, greater GSM paper, you're gonna have to line match in order to be able to kind of minimize that ghosting or show through that goes through on the page. So anyhow, those are like some key features structurally to look for. Now let me give you some options in premium. You could spend about $200 on a Skylar. You could spend about 220 on a Cambridge. Now with the Cambridge, check this out. They do not do the perimeter gilt line on some of the additions. I'm sure they do on others, but it is edge lined. It is art gilded. It does have all your other features. I added these ribbons just because the ribbons were too short for me. But they do come with nice Beresford ribbons. Now a level down that you can go is you can go down to your Premier Collection. Now the goat skin isn't going to be as premium, but the liner's pretty good. Look here, you've got your gold perimeter. Uh, not bad corners for a Bible that you're gonna pay barely over $100 for. Nice edge lining. This one makes up for not having the end opaque by going with 36 GSM European paper. It has your art gilding. Super nice factory standard ribbons. So not bad at all. Another option is Crossway. Now Crossway is about to move their Bible, their premium heirloom line back to Royal Youngblood. So you take a look at this. 
Now this goat skin is a little stiff, but I think that'll be addressed when it goes back to Netherlands. Animal skin liner, of course you have. Now their corners are, eh, they're okay, but again, this is a mass produced Bible. Edge lined, I absolutely love the Chinese blocks. I don't know why people get so uh, upset about these, but it is going back to Netherlands. The art gilding is a bit light, people fuss about that, but I don't mind that at all. Now the highest level of premium Bible you can go is you can go with a rebind. And the advantage of rebind is you can go custom. Now this is from ICA, and this is a Sully Goat skin with a kid skin liner. He put a really stiff liner in there, and he went full yap. Now this is also a Royal Youngblood text block. This is the NLT Select, also known as the Caxton. And again, the 28 uh, GSM paper, French Indopaque. You can see a bit of ghosting with the poetic settings. This is a single column, so you're gonna have to deal with that. But again, this is a really nice block. Again, edge lined, end sheet, glued to the fly leaf, all the features you're looking for. Now with a rebind, some of the things you're gonna be able to get is you're gonna be able to get choices on stitching. You notice that accent stitching there with the gold. Beresford ribbons, this one is not art gilded. And then this one is a shark skin from ICA. And again, look at this, double perimeter sewn, really nice floppy liner, edge lined, blue end sheet, glued to the fly leaf. And he actually did art gild this one, which turned out beautifully. See, look at that dark art gilding you can get with custom work. Beresford ribbons, he decided to go with a thick gilt line on this. Now these are gonna be expensive. You know, these are in excess of 300, sometimes $400. But if you want something premium, make sure you look for the features. One last feature I wanna show you in some of your lower end text blocks that is critical. Um, on some of your higher ends ones, this isn't as important. But if you get a cheaper text block, you wanna make sure it has this. It's probably gonna be hard to see with the camera, but in your first signature, you're going to see that overcast stitching. What that does is that reinforces your cheaper text blocks and holds them together so they don't tend to fall apart at the signatures. So anyhow, there you have it. If you're looking for a premium Bible, these are features you definitely want to look for. Depending on how much you want to spend, those are things you might want to check out. There you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholsworth.